From analysis to execution, speed and timing is very important in trading. In this video, I will reveal the hacks to slash your analysis time and boost your trade execution efficiency. If you are ready to trade smarter and not harder, hit that subscribe button. Time is money in the world of trading. Now let's go. Number 1. Inverting your chart can be very, very useful in trading. Now, some traders are naturally inclined to seeing the market maybe from a bearish perspective, which means from a selling perspective, while some traders are inclined to seeing the market from the bullish perspective, which is the buying perspective. So, for instance, if I want to buy Euro USD and I am more inclined to spotting entries from a sell or bearish perspective, all I need to do is just to invert my chart. Watch me as I do that right now. So as you can see, I have an inverted chart on Euro USD. But please take note, do not make the mistake of going to your MT4. Let's say you are doing your analysis on trading view and then you want to go to your MT4 to place the trade. Please don't make the mistake of selling Euro USD if what you actually wanted to do is buy. I hope you get the point. So this is basically how you invert your chart. But let me put it back to how it was. So this is the default setting right here. But I hope you get the point on how to invert your chart now let's go to number two now if you have a group or you run a group or let's say you trade with a group of friends whereby you get to share analysis trade ideas and stuff like that right so after doing your analysis and say you want to post to your group you know what you need to do is to like hit the camera button right here right so under this drop down menu you can either download the image copy the image copy the link open a new tab tweet the image whatever right but this particular hotkey which is linked to chat instead of coming to this drop down menu to copy the link all you need to do is just to hit that hotkey and then you will see a note down here link to chat image copy to clipboard clipboard so you can now go ahead and share that link to maybe your friends or in your group or whatever let me show you an example of what i'm talking about Rem remember we have the link of that particular chart copied to our clipboard so let's assume this is the group i want to share that particular trade idea in so all i need to do is just to paste it here all right just paste the link and that's it you can either download the preview image or click the link to go to that actual chart i hope that makes sense now let's move to number three To get access to this horizontal line without using the hotkey, all you need to do is to come to the panel on the left of your trading view chart to actually look for that particular um, line, right? Which is this. So this takes time, right? Because if you are not familiar with locating it, you need to go through all these icons one by one and you don't want that, right? You want to limit the time you spend on the chart. So if you don't want to use the hotkey, this is one way to locate it. Alternatively, you can add it to your favorite, right? You can see that I have some um, items here added to my favorite by starring it. So I unstar this, then automatically I don't have it added to my favorite. And if I start it again, then it will automatically be added to my favorite. And each item you add is added to this panel here. So you can drag it anywhere across your screen all right but for the purpose of this video i'm trying to show you a very short and straightforward way to assess this so so all you need to do is to hit the alt key and h and there you have it guys so you can now drag and drop it wherever you want it to be on your chart now this horizontal line is useful maybe if you have a support or resistance level you want to like place it so you could just drag and drop it wherever you want it to be all right so let's go to the next item on our list So the vertical line is another line I use quite often on my chart, all right? So another way to assess it is by coming to the left panel on trading view and try to locate it, right? This is it here. As you can see, I already have it added to my favorite. And if I come to this panel here, you see that I have it here, all right? So basically, let's go with the hotkey, right? Halt and V. 
So there we have it guys. So what is the usefulness of this tool? How do you use this tool? I use it for different reasons, right? I use it to map to mark times or zones or specific candles all right so let's say i want to track this candle i can put it there so what this basically does is it shows me the date of that particular candle right so which is the thursday thursday the second of february 2023 and so there are other things you can also add to to this you could come to the visibility if you don't want it to appear on the daily time frame we're on the daily time frame by the way so i can untick this and you see it disappears but if i go to the minute hourly and weekly and monthly time frame you see it there all right but if i want it to be visible on the daily time frame of course i just need to tick this box and there you have it so coordinates well not really but you can tweak the coordinates to what you like you can play around and see how it works then text let's say i can choose to add whatever text i want to add to that particular line let's say I, just to label that particular candlestick right i could do that then i could maybe put it in the middle put it at the bottom put it at the right or center or whatever just play around this and get used to it very very useful tool very very useful tool all right so that is that let's go to the next item trendline is one tool that every trader or many traders around the world use it right we use it to track psychological levels of support and resistance and stuff like that right just like i mentioned earlier to assess the trend line uh, all you need to do is to come to the left panel of your trading view then look for trend line as you can see i already have it added to my um, favorites and that's why i have it here on this panel here right but since we're talking about hotkeys then to easily assess your trend line using your hotkey you know what to do press and hold the alt key and then click t then when you click t you want to take your mouse and place it where you want the trend line to be so i'll just drag and drop wherever i want it to be right so this is one way to do it of course you can also customize your trend line if you don't want it to be visible on the daily time frame just uncheck this box if you want it visible then all you need to do is to check that box again then the coordinates whatever play around the text you can add text then style you can make the, the trend lines darker change the color if you want it thicker you can do all of those good stuffs right so that is that for trend lines. Now let's go to the next item on the list. Now many traders around the world trade using the Fibonacci retracement levels, right? And you know the drill to assess it manually without using hotkeys. Just come to the left panel on trading view and try to locate that particular um tool you are looking for i already have it added to my favorites but since we're talking about hotkeys let's do let's go and do just that halt and f so when you do that then you want to take your mouse it will not just appear so so it's already attached to my mouse so all i need to do is just click and drag all right so that is that for fibonacci retracement of course you can also tweak this i believe many people don't know this so you can also tweak this i have my favorite levels which are usually the 0 0.5 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 levels so what i usually do is i just uncheck the other boxes all right but if you want them by all means just play around them all right Trading view is one powerful um, trading platform that you can actually do whatever you like. It's a very, very powerful platform. And that is why it is popular amongst many traders around the world. So, of course, visibility is also you choosing to see a particular tool on a particular time frame. You know, sometimes you can do your analysis on the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the four hour, the one hour, maybe probably all the way down to the 15 minutes time frame. Now, if you leave all your zones on your chart, it's going to be one messy chart right so that's why sometimes when you do analysis on the monthly time frame and maybe you come to the one hour time frame and that zone that you had plotted 
on the monthly time frame is still visible on that one hour time frame you know it's going to be very very huge and it brings confusion so what you want to do is to just limit that particular tool that you plotted on that monthly time frame to the monthly time frame alone or maybe to the monthly and the weekly time frame alone i believe you get what i'm trying to say here so that is that for fibonacci retracement level let's go to the next item on my list so cross line is one tool i really don't use that much all right so locate it you need to search for it on this left panel on trading view but since we are talking about hot keys then all you need to do is to just press and hold the alt key and then c so this is it well i really don't use this now another thing i would like to show you on trading view is how to align your time frames now by default let's say you just start using trading view these time frames are not aligned like this by default all right so all you need to do is to come to this drop down menu here and style your favorite time frame so once you just tie your favorite time frames then it's going to be added at the top here for instance let me just add the one minute chart or time frame you see it has been added if i unstyle it then you see it disappears let's say i want to add a three minutes time frame if i do that you see it appears if i unstyle it it disappears right so it doesn't come with all these time frames at the top by default so all you need to do if you for easy access just style your favorite time frames and leave them there all right so that way you can assess them easily another way you can do that is just by typing the time frame manually on your charts all right so as long as you're you're on trading view just hit number one and you see the one minute time frame so all you need to do is to click enter and it takes you to the one minute time frame right and let's say you want to go to the one hour time frame then just hit the number one button and h then you see we have the one hour time frame then let's say you want the four hour time frame just click four and h all right so you can see we have the four hours time frame so after doing that just hit enter and it takes you to the four hour chart all right so let's say you are you want to go to the you want to jump to the monthly time frame so all you need to do is hit number one and m so that's the one monthly time frame and if you're looking for the 12 monthly time frame you type 12 and m then it takes you to the monthly time frame let's say you want to go to the daily time frame you go to the one day right and the same applies if you want to go to the weekly time frame which is one and w one week then hits the enter button and it takes you to that time frame that's awesome right so i can go on and on and on but let me just pause here for today let me know in the comment section if you want to see more content like this also share your trading view hacks with us in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel if you haven't and i'll see you in the next video bye guys